guys and welcome back to another N Scenic build guide. This one is for the trestle bridge as you can see here. This is the painted version. We offer two versions to this. It can either come pre-painted car or it can come just in the plain car as you can see here. So you can paint whatever it how you please. Okay so to begin with I've cut the model out of the cardstock as you can see here for both sheets. And the next thing we'll do is jump straight to the build and I'll show you what parts we need to begin with, okay? Okay, so the parts we're going to begin with is going to be one of the side pieces. You can see it's got etch detail and work on the outside, so we'll start with that side to begin with. And we're going to require the small squares to begin with as circle the, uh, etching to represent rivets or bolts. For the bridge okay so we'll start with that okay so you can see on the model it has etched lines and that's for this shape to, to fit in to as such so we're just going to apply some glue here and then line up this piece with the lines on the side of the model and just drop it into place. So we'll move along and do the next one. Okay, so the next piece we're going to find is a corner piece. So that's one of these shapes. You can see here. So we want to find the one that will fit against these etch marks. So that is going to go into position as such, like so. So again, we'll just apply some glue. Line that up with the etched lines, and then we'll move along to one of the bigger parts. So, again, we'll just apply some glue, off the piece into position, and move along. And then just to finish you off, we'll do the opposite end. So find a part what fits the gap. And we'll just glue it into place. Okay, so we've got that side done. We just want to flip it over. And using the same parts, we want to glue into position the same shapes. Just line that up with the one that's on the front. Again, just line that up with the one that's in the front. Take your part, bit of glue, and attach.
Okay, so we've got the detailing parts on both sides of this half of the trellis bridge. We're going to repeat the process for the second, ha second half, again with the same pieces, so we'll end up with two identical parts. Excellent, so we're now up to the stage where we've got all the extra detail and work stuck to the side of the trellis on both sides. So the next part we're going to need or require is the base. And as you can see it's got etched lines down here. That's for these thin strips to be glued vertically like so onto each edge. This is going to give the base some more rigidity. So I'm just going to apply some glue down one of these lines. And I'm going to hold one of these strips right up to the edge and right on that line. Okay, like so. Then we'll do the next one. So that now has made that card really solid, it will not bend now. That's going to be our platform for our railway or road, whichever we want to use the bridge for. So with that as such, we're going to bring one of our side pieces, the etching and detail on the outside. And that's simply going to glue, just turn it around so you can see and get a better picture. So we're going to mate up those notches in the base with the edge of the bridge here and that's where we're going to apply our glue. So for me I'm going to lay the part on its edge like so. I'm going to hold the bridge in the correct position. And I'm going to apply some glue down the inside edge. Okay, so that's now stuck to the model. So again, we'll repeat the process, ensuring that we've got the etch detailing on the outside. I'm going to pop the bridge on again. Just line up all those notches in that road bed. Okay, and then again, we're going to run some glue down the inside. trellis bridge now complete so the only remaining part we've got to put in now is the trestles going across like so so the natural grip of the model will hold these into position for us so we don't really need to fiddle about with our fingers 
So once we're happy with the positioning of the part, making sure it's central of the vertical supports there, I'm just going to run some glue down each side. Okay. Then I'll move on to the next one. Apply some glue to the edges again. And we'll do the next one again. Okay, so for the last ones, I'm going to follow the angle of this. So I'm going to step it back slightly, as you can see here, just a couple of mil, and then I'm just going to drop some glue on it to hold it in position. Allow that to set, so I'll rotate it round. Do the same again for the other edge. So again, just setting it in just a millimeter or two. And again, drop some glue onto their matches. Well, that's it for the construction of the end scenic trestle bridge. As you can see again, like I said at the beginning of the video, we do offer this in a painted grey, or you can purchase it just as white card. It's simple enough to spray up and wear it yourself, but if you've not got that ability or you don't want to, again, we do offer it in a grey coloured card. It's a simple kit to build, and it looks really effective on any layout. Uh, we've got plenty more uh, models to offer you if you visit us at www.n-scenic.co.uk. We ship worldwide and we've got plenty more models in the line yet to come. Thanks for watching this build guide on the Trestle Bridge and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.